Hello again, welcome back to Hangar 51. So I did a review on this tent over a year ago, and I wanted to give you a follow-up review because the tent's been through a lot, and it's done really well. So uh, let's go on a little tour. I'm going to tell you all about it. So, what I use this tent for is uh, flying model airplanes, radio control airplanes. Okay, this is my little setup here, but what I do with the tent, let's go inside and I'll show you. So, the front part is where I stay. Got my air conditioning unit there, I've got a couple of chairs over here with a lamp, and then over here is where I usually put a air mattress to stay in the tent. And then in the back is where I keep more airplanes, especially at night when the dew is falling. These planes are too big to take apart. Uh, you, know, you have to take them apart to put them in the back in the trailer. So I just like to keep them in the back half of the tent, and it works out fantastic. I can get five or six planes back here. I've already taken a couple out today to fly. And then what I have here, this is the air conditioning discharge hose coming through the other door. Okay, and it just, I put the windows down in here, let the air blow through, close up the front here, run the air conditioner, keeps this side of the, the tent very cool. Uh, the minor heat that goes in the back is not going to hurt the planes, and the air blowing through the windows being open uh, takes care of that anyway. So this works out really well for me. So I was at an event last uh I think it was last December, and no, actually it was uh, early, uh, um, I think it was April, and a microburst came through the, uh, through my area, and uh, uh, well, let me, let me get back to that story. So one of the, in December last year, I was at an event. And we had a torrential down rain. I mean torrential. When I got up the next morning and went out, I actually slept in my car because there was just it, there was a lot of wind, a lot of thunder, lightning, and inside the tent was just more than I could handle. So I slept in the car. wasn't worried about the tent falling down or anything, but it was just too noisy, and I really wasn't going to get any sleep. So I slept in my car. Got up the next morning, and the entire area around the tent was completely flooded. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how I happened to find the high spot in the, in the property, but I, by luck I did. And um, so I got out of my car. I had to get up on uh, railroad ties and walk about 100 yards down to the pavilion area, cross the pavilion, go out onto the paved runway area. There's a taxiway. Walk down the taxiway back to my tent and then, luckily enough, the area in front of my door was dry. So I could get off the, the railroad ties and walk to the door. And uh, everything inside, there was about, total, under three windows, about a half a cup of water. You know, I had a, just a tiny bit of water in two of the windows and then a little more on the third window. Um, so as it, torrential rain as it was and it flooded the property... I got less than a half a cup of water in the tent. So the tent has been phenomenal. I, I actually can't tell you how happy I am with this tent. So the April event, a microburst came through the my pit area. Now, I don't know if you know what a microburst is, but basically it's a mini tornado. So my tent was doing fine. Not a problem at all. The guy had a canopy next to me, and he had it tied down, but not very well. It picked up his canopy, flew it into my canopy, which was sitting here in front of my tent, destroyed my canopy. It, it, it couldn't go anywhere because I had a three-foot stake in the ground, a three-foot piece of rebar staking it in the ground, holding it there. So it couldn't move. So it just it destroyed it and, and dropped it on top of seven airplanes. And I'm going to show you all the, the video. And Well, all right, let me go on. Um, and then it let go of my canopy, the canopy that was next door, let go of my canopy and then proceeded to hit the tent and destroy the tent. It took the tent down on top of about five more airplanes. And here are those pictures.
So I had to clean up the mess. It was unbelievable. There, you, you could. I think there was a scene there of uh, all the water. It was in the tent. I had a big cooler in there full of about 10 gallons of water. And it turned that over, flooded the whole inside of the tent. Uh, my phone got wet. My radios got wet. It was, it was a nightmare. Um, and I had to get everything out of the tent so I could put the tent back up. So what I did was I, 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 we had to dig through the tent, get everything out of the tent. Then I had to put the tent back up so I could clean it and dry it out. And the only damage that I sustained from that microburst after all of that is it tore here and I believe this is run run stop uh, material rip stop so it ripped this here from the the canopy it ripped this piece here from here right up here okay Th that's where this that piece came from is right here so I no longer have this tied down. I am going to try to repair this. Okay. And then the, the, it also, there was a eyelet in here. And it tore that. So it ripped that eyelet out. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. See, there's a, there's, there's material all here. And then it has a, a, sewn end right here that you you tie your uh, you put your stake through rip that off and then one more thing it did I think just one more uh, I don't think it ripped any more but it broke it actually folded one of these this this is a piece of galvanized tubing that's got a, like a little 30 degree bend in it right here. I can't see the reflect. Oh, there, okay. So, yeah, there's a 30 degree bend on each top corner on the, these posts, and it broke one of those in half. It had folded it, and then when I straightened it, it broke. So, I made myself a new one out of a piece of aluminum that I machined, and that's it here. And, I, and it, it's not perfect. Actually, I'm going to make another one. But it works. I just I want to make a better one, and uh, and that's it. The tent survived it. I mean it. You, you saw the pictures. I mean it was pretty a pretty gruesome uh, affair, and uh, and the tent survived. So I I can't tell you how happy I'm with this tent. Um, this uh, brand from Walmart, the Ozark Trail. That's what this new canopy is. This is a replacement, one of the identical to the one I lost at the same event, the Ozark Trail. And this is a new design. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. There are no button releases in the corner posts here. Okay, they're gone. There are no more, you know, no button releases on any of the corners. There's just this thing in the middle here. And it's a over center type thing so if you pull it down and it's much easier to do that when you're when you don't have the legs extended okay this extends everything all in one motion okay you just push it up into that center up there and once you get you know it's a it's a push until you get to past center okay and then all of a sudden it just snaps into place and that's it and all the corners are up there's nothing to do in the corners. They're up. All you do is extend your legs and you're ready to go. So I'm really happy with Ozark Trail. I think, you know, they make a good quality product. I, I can't tell you how happy. Uh, listen, I'm so happy with the tent, I bought another one. You know, after I saw the damage, wasn't sure if I could fix it. Still not sure if I can fix it. But it is usable in this condition. But just in case I bought I, I you know and they're hard to find I gotta tell you I think they discontinued this model I don't know why because it's it's a great one um, but I went ahead and I found another one on uh, I think eBay and I bought it brand new um, so uh, and, and, and and let me show you that because oh it's over here um, 
it comes in a really nice bag. Everything's in it. Now, I recommend that you split it up because it's too heavy. I think it weighs 70 pounds. It's awful heavy to move. So what I do is... Let me move this stuff real quick. So this is this is it right here. So this is this is how it comes, and that and that that whole tent fits in there. Now, I don't like carrying it this way. I haven't opened this one up. This is the new one. Um, it's too heavy. So there is a bag. I'll show you that that holds the tent posts that are wrapped up inside the tent, inside the, this big bag here. What I do is I, I, I separate the posts from the bag. And then you, what you end up is about two 35 pound bags. Much easier to handle. So that's what I do. So you have, this is the bag, and I have everything inside here. Let me unzip this real quick. Okay, so there's this bag. All right. All the tent... Let me get it out of this shade here. It's kind of... Um, so the tent posts all fit in that bag. So there's about 35 pounds worth of tent posts. So I wrap them up, tie them up, and tie them in that bag and leave it separate from the other. Then I roll the tent up with the little uh, stakes. I put the stakes in their little bag and roll it inside the tent. And uh, so you end up with a thir two 35 pound bags to move instead of one 70 pound. And for me, it's much easier. I really don't like dag dragging that big heavy bag around. The 70 pounds is just too much at once. So I, I split it up. And, uh, but yeah, guys, I, I just, I wanted to share with you my, uh, my, uh, I don't know my my happiness with this tent. Um, it, it's held up fantastic. I've been through a lot of storms with it, but those were the two worst. And uh, the first storm, I didn't sustain any damage. I didn't even, you know, like I said, less than a half a cup of water got in through the windows. And I'll be honest with you, it, the only place it's leaking is here. The water, because it was so windy. The water was blowing up in here, and it went up over, that's the top of the, the zip-up window. So the rain just blew up inside here, because of how windy it was, went over that edge, and ran down inside the tent. And like I said, I had less than a half a cup of water in the tent. You know, three little puddles to, to mop up, which, you know, I just used a a washcloth basically and just sopped it up and rang it out outside and that was it so um, yeah I, I just can't tell you how happy I am with this tent and I I, I had a lot of uh, views on the um, the first video and I thought I'd do a follow-up to tell you how happy I am with it you know if you can find this tent you know and it you think it would work for you get it I'm telling you, every worth every penny of it. And uh, if not, stay with the Ozark brand and find something else that works for you. But um, I have zero complaints, zero. This has been a fantastic tent. This has been my first tent. Never had a tent before. It goes up so easy. Um, it comes down super easy too. Um, it takes time to pack it. I'm not going to lie. You know, you got to fold it all up and then you got to roll it all up and. And put it away, but I imagine that's the way it is with every tent. Um, but man, I'm telling you, it only takes one person to put it up and take it down. You don't need two. It actually two people kind of gets in the way. Um, you know, if they can help without stepping on top of each other, you know that'll work. But it's really a one man job. It really is. You just don't need any help putting this tent up. So, um, all right, guys, that's that's all I've got. Just wanted to, you know. Give you an update. Super happy with the tent. Um, I hope this review's been good for you. If it is, please hit the like button. 
hit the subscribe button. And listen, I, I, I don't know if you're aware of this. YouTube changed their, their way they do things. So real quickly, before long ago, I've been on YouTube quite a while. Um, when you hit the subscribe button, that also automatically uh, put you in there, the list to get updates, to get uh, notifications. They changed that. Now you can subscribe to support my channel without getting, you know, if you don't want to get notified of new videos I'm putting up, just don't ring the bell. Then there's a bell now. And if you don't ring the bell, you can subscribe to my channel to show your support and you won't get notifications that I put up a new video because my videos are mostly RC airplanes. And if you're not into RC airplanes, then you really don't want to subscribe, you know, you don't want to ring the bell. So just hit the subscribe button, but don't ring the bell. And, um, and that way you can show your support without being bombarded with, hey, I just put up another video that you don't want to watch. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, supporting my channel. And um, right now there should be a screen popping up and it has the first review. So if you didn't see this first review, you can click it right here. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.